The gentleman from Illinois is recognized for five minutes. Oh, thank you. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I appreciate you yielding. And uh, Mr. Blumenauer, thank you for uh, leading on this. Uh, Ms. Gabbard and uh, Mr. Stivers as well. This is such a... Uh, such an important issue. You know, we're a nation of, of, of commitments, and, you know, a lot of the times Washington gets this reputation of, you know, Republicans and Democrats don't agree on anything, and we just fight like cats and dogs. And, you know, like some of that's true, but I think this is a great example of where, frankly, people are coming together to say, as a nation, what's the right thing to do here? Uh, we've made commitments, we've, we've, we've taken ourselves and, and made promises to people, and people have put themselves out on the line for us. What's the right thing to do? I would even dare to speculate that those of us that are, that are, are uh, sponsoring this amendment probably don't even agree on the future of the Iraq War or the, uh, or the uh, Afghanistan War. But we do know that we believe we have to hold to this. As Ms. Gabbard was talking about, there's a lot of unsung heroes in the war in Iraq and Afghanistan, and I, I experienced it as well as a pilot in the military, as people that uh, were Iraqi nationals, in my case, uh, that really stood up and put their lives on the line in order to... Uh, fight for a new Iraq, to fight for a new freedom, to provide for their families and to understand that they want to build an alliance between the Iraq and the United States. And uh, a lot of them went home at night, as was eloquently expressed, went home at night in fear that this was going to cost them their lives. But knowing that the strength and the power of the United States was there with them and that they could rest easy at night knowing that we would keep to our words. Unfortunately, many of these folks have been killed or targeted for killing and do continue to live in fear. And so we created a program which would allow a lot of these that have put their lives on the line in order to facilitate what, what our interest is in Afghanistan and Iraq to be able to come and, and uh, come to the United States. And unfortunately, this has been bogged down in bureaucracy that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Uh, it's been bogged down in the definition of whether they worked for the United States or whether they actually worked for ISAF. Well, I would tend to say that whether you worked for ISAF or the United States, you should probably fall under this program. And, and I think it's just right that we as a nation figure out what's going wrong and do this. And I think this is a great opportunity. This is a great opportunity to come together and say, you know, you put your life on the line for us, we're going to do everything we can for you. You know, I think about all the times when I would be ready to go fly and, you know, you talk to, to folks that are associated with what we're doing and, and uh, had we not had interpreters there to be able to bring the languages, frankly, the United States and Iraq or Afghanistan together, uh, we'd often just be staring at each other, not knowing what we're thinking, but we're each thinking something. But to be able to have these folks that come together and really talk about what it is that's, that, that we need to do uh, is the right thing to do. I just again want to say that, you know, as Americans, we have to hold to our commitments. This program provides life-saving protection to those that served us. It's uh, providing countless, it will provide refuge to the countless Iraqis and Afghan civilians that have helped us, and it's the right thing to do. So again, I just want to say to Mr. Blumenauer, to Ms. Gabbard, to Mr. Stivers, uh, and to everybody watching, frankly, and, and, and listening to these proceedings, uh, thank you for your help. Uh, thank you to America for standing up and doing the right thing and to those that continue to defend us day by day. Right. And with that, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to uh, yield back the balance of the time. The gentleman yields back. The question is on the amendment from the gentleman from Oregon. Those in favor say aye. Those opposed say no. Opinion of the chairs, the ayes have it. The amendment is agreed to. The gentleman from Oregon. On that, I would like a recorded vote. Pursuant to Clause 6 of Rule 18, further proceedings on the amendment offered by the gentleman from Oregon will be postponed.